Uh, here are the review questions, uh, just three of them. We need to use the conservation of energy. The initial height, 3500. The final is zero at the ground level. Initial velocity is in kilometer per hour. We need to change it into meter per second. And you're looking for the final velocity. So, the kinetic plus the potential energy at any point must be equal to the kinetic plus potential at any other point. So that's, that's what we'll be using. And the, the masses get cancelled, rearrange and get a velocity as a subject. to 93.8 meter per second. Uh, in this part, the, it's coming down 12 degree angle, so sine 12 is 3500 by x, and you find the length that the glider had to move. Then you know the initial velocity, the final is in kilometer per hour. I change that into meter per second. And you get 58.33 meter per second. So when you use the conservation of energy, you get kinetic plus potential at point one is equal to kinetic plus potential and then you got to add on the work done against the frictional force, uh, which is this one. Force times displacement gives you the work. So that's the work done against air resistance. So make the frictional force the subject. Plug in the numbers and Calculate. And you get 2415 Newton. The second one the work done by gravity is, as it comes down, is mgh or mgx. The angle is zero degrees because it's coming straight down. The force is down. The displacement is down. So that's the work by gravity. But the work done is equal to kinetic change in kinetic energy. In fact, the initial kinetic energy is. Okay, so you get the velocity. Twenty one meter per second. Now remember that the network down is zero when you consider that. The work done by gravity and the work done by the spring is zero. Now, the negative here shows that the spring is being compressed and work is being done on it. Okay, if you had taken it as by, it's positive, but since it's work done on it, it's negative. So, both of these must add up to zero. And uh, now that's a quadratic equation which has to be solved. Using minus b plus or minus 
square root b squared minus 4ac by 2 times a. So when you do that and substitute, you would get 2.37 meter. Okay, that's a, that's b, and that is c. Now in this last problem that I'm doing, if there is no friction, then the banking angle can be found out simply by tan theta is equal to v squared by rg. Yes, and it, uh, the velocity must be in meter per second. So you get 21.4 degrees. And now the figure is really important. So in fact, this has to change. I'll change it later on. Okay. So you have the normal reaction to solve into Fn cos theta and Fn sine theta and you have the frictional force which it would also be resolved into the horizontal and the vertical component. But remember that friction should be towards the center of the circle. Obviously, I'm going to change it, so this part of the diagram. And so when you take the y components, you see that you have Fn cos theta, you have mg down, and uh, you also have the sine component of friction. So... Remember that frictional force is mu Fn, so you make Fn the subject, you get equation 1. And then when you take the x component of friction, you have Fn sine theta here, and the plus you have the cost component of friction, so that's when I noticed that I made a mistake, so I've changed it now. Both of them together provide the centripetal force. So once again, when you take uh, Fn to one side, you get another equation. And it's simply a matter of putting the right-hand sides together. So you have two expressions for the normal reaction and you put the right hand sides together go equal to each other and remember that you're trying to solve for the coefficient of friction and, uh, so you cross multiply try to collect mu on one side uh, the masses cancel out and You really have to be careful when you uh, take the terms to, you know, one side. I've collected the terms that have the coefficient of friction on one side now. And, uh, therefore, now we can make it the subject. can plug in the values and calculate from here or further simplify it by dividing each term by cos theta. So that cos theta gets cancelled so to this one but this one becomes tan and this one also becomes tan. So that's the change that you notice now. And then When you plug in the numbers and calculate, you get the coefficient of static friction as 0 0.33.
Thank you.